The Minnesota Legislature's transportation trading game continues. House Republicans unveiled a funding offer Tuesday that would fund $600 million in annual road and bridge repairs by using a budget surplus, borrowing for construction projects, and hiking license tab fees on new cars. House Speaker Kurt Dout says it's a compromise. Half of the proposal that we're giving him are our ideas, and half of it is his ideas, okay? Uh, so we are proposing to use $300 million um, in existing resources out of the $900 million surplus uh, towards roads and bridges. And on the governor's half, we're proposing uh, a, a license tab uh, fee adjustment, which is uh, a, a much scaled back version of what the governor proposed yesterday. Um, under this proposal, no one would pay more. Um, and more than half of the cars on the road would pay less for their license tabs. But it would pick up about $100 million of revenue for us uh, that we can use towards roads and bridges. Um, and then the last uh, uh, piece of that is $200 million in trunk highway bonding. Um, that was in the governor's original proposal. Now the proposal gets the two sides closer, but a wide divide remains with just six days remaining in the session. The GOP's plan wouldn't fund any mass transit projects, which is a must for Democrats. Senate Majority Leader Tom Bach dismissed the GOP's offer as not serious. He says the $300 million bite it would take out of the state's general fund is too large. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.